so if you have forgotten your Apple ID password and the phone number you use as your trusted phone number, or you don't use the trusted phone number anymore. Let's try to solve that. If you do know your phone number and have access to it, it's much easier for you. I have a video explaining how. You can find a link to that video in the description. We will go through several methods, so if one of the methods doesn't work for you, just keep watching. This is how to do it. First off, we need to know the name of the Apple ID. If you forgot it too, I have a video about that. Find the link to that video as well in the video description. Let's start by using your iOS device if you have one, meaning an iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. Open up settings. Tap your name on the top if you see it. If you see sign in to your iPhone, you are not signed in on iCloud and you can't use this method. Tap password and security. If you could not enter password and security, you are not signed in correctly or you are not using two-factor authentication. Tap change password on the top. Enter the passcode, meaning the six-digit code that you are using when unlocking the device. If you forgot it too, I have a video about showing how to solve it. The link to that video is also in the video description. Enter your new password twice. It may ask you if you want to sign out other devices. If you think somebody have tried to steal your Apple ID and changed the password, I suggest you select Sign out other devices. If you don't think anybody tries to get hold of your Apple ID, you can select Do not sign out. Now your password is changed. Another method that can be used to reset the Apple ID password is to use the app Find My iPhone. If you are using two-factor authentication, however, and you forgot the trusted phone number, you won't be able to use this method. If you are not using two-factor authentication, or if you are not sure if you do, I suggest you try this method. Open up the app Find My iPhone. This can be done from your device or somebody else's. When you see the sign-in screen, make sure that the Apple ID field is empty. If you see your or somebody else's Apple ID there, please erase it. Tap Forgot Apple ID or Password. Now enter your Apple ID and tap Next. If you see Confirm Phone Number next, you are using two-factor authentication. If you don't know the trusted phone number and can't get a hold of it, you can't reset the password. I suggest you check with friends and family if they have your old phone number saved in their contacts. If you do know the phone number but you don't have access to it anymore, go ahead and enter it anyway. And tap Next. Then tap Do not have access to your trusted phone number. We already tried to reset it from another device, so choose Start Account Recovery, which is your only option at this point. As you can read, Account Recovery is an automatic process that will recover your Apple ID and will reset your password. However, it takes time, sometimes days and sometimes weeks. Tap Request Recovery and follow the steps. You will get an email with information, most often after 24 hours but the whole process will usually take much longer than that. You have no choice but waiting. If you instead see the options reset by email or answer security questions when entering your Apple ID, you are not using two-factor authentication. If you can access your email inbox, choose reset by email. You will then get an email from Apple with a link reset now. When you click on the link, you will be transferred to a web page where you can enter your new password. If you know the answer to your security questions, select Answer Security Questions. You will have to confirm with the date of birth. If you can't confirm the date of birth, you can't continue. Then answer your security questions and after that you should be able to change your password. If you don't have access to any iOS device, with the Find My iPhone app, you can instead use the webpage iforgot.apple.com. You can visit the webpage from pretty much any device with a web browser, including an Android device or a Windows computer, for example. Enter your Apple ID. Click Continue. Again, depending on if you use two-factor authentication or not, exactly what you see will vary a bit. If you're asked for your phone number, you'll have to enter it. If you don't know it, you have to find out. If you know the phone number but don't have access to it anymore, enter it anyway. If you see this screen, at this point tap Can't access the device. 
tap, unable to find another device to use, since we tried using Find My iPhone already. From here, you can also start an account recovery. Tap, continue anyway. A verification code will be sent to the phone number you can no longer access. Tap, no longer using this number. Enter the phone number you want to use instead. It will only be used for the account recovery and not be associated with the Apple ID in the future. You receive a verification code as a text message to the number you entered. Enter the code. You may be asked for information about your account, such as your debit or credit card number. Enter the info if you know it or tap don't have access if you don't. Start the account recovery. Now it's just a matter of waiting before you can reset the password. As I mentioned, it can take from a couple of days to a few weeks. But what if, when you enter your Apple ID, you are not asked for your phone number, but instead what information you would like to reset? Choose My Password. Then you get the options to answer your security questions or receive an email. Well, if you know your security questions, choose them and enter the answers. Then you should be able to change your password. If you have access to your email, choose that you receive an email with a link. Tap the link and now you can reset your password. And there you go, 